friends, welcome to Art with Mrs. Wicks. Today we're going to create this Vincent Van Gogh Starry Night inspired painting. Let's go! Hi friends! Today we are going to create a Vincent Van Gogh Starry Night inspired painting. If some of you are familiar with our new game out there called Among Us, we are going to create this image right here in front of you. So let's get started. We are going to talk about our foreground, middle ground, background. This creates an illusion of space or as we call it in art, atmospheric perspective, right? Objects that are closer uh, to the foreground are going to seem larger. As you go towards the middle ground, things are medium size and things that are in the background are smaller. Okay, let's get started. Start off by getting some paper. If you have watercolor paper, that will be best, but I'm going to show you on regular drawing paper. If you're painting today, make sure to use very little water so you don't rip your paper. I'm going to start with a pencil today and we're going to draw the characters. If you do not want to draw the Among Us character, you can choose anything that you would like a tree or your favorite cartoon character. That's fine. All right, looking at our paper, I'm going to divide my paper in half. So you could fold your paper in half, but I can see that I want to draw in the lower section. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a small curved hill. I made sure to keep some finger space in between so that I am not too close to the edge of my paper. Then I'm going to bring this edge back up, making sure not to go too high because I want to make sure there's room for the sky. So our characters don't fall off this cliff. Let's bring another curved line in the background, just like this. It has this feeling of rolling hills, okay? We're setting up our page. Don't forget to draw light until you get it right. Okay, next we're going to draw the moon your choice you can draw a circle for the moon but i'm gonna draw the crescent moon i'm gonna place it right about here and it looks like a c shape or banana shape on its side then you're going to connect the inside to the end with another smaller c shape there you go okay great now we're going to move on into our characters. I'm going to draw my character here in the lower left hand corner, just like the cypress tree from Vincent van Gogh's painting. Okay, you can reference his artwork. Um, it's called The Starry Night. Try again. So, with the Among Us character, I'm going to show you as a reference, it's a space character. Here his, is the goggle, and then they have an oxygen backpack in the back. The character is very round, okay? It actually represents the letter A in Among Us. So I'm gonna start between the foreground and the middle ground, and I'm going to draw that oval shape. Take your time, it's round, not square, okay? I will erase any intersecting lines, any lines that might cut into my drawing. Starting at the top of the goggles, go all the way across, make a rainbow arch. Bring that line down, not too far to the ground, okay? And then you're going to give him a foot and come up and around like a hill and make his other leg and bring that all the way back up to the top. Okay, erasing the intersecting lines inside. I felt like he went, this line went out a little too far. So I'm gonna bring this down from the top here. And start. Okay, you make a mistake, that's okay. You can always fix it. So the backpack starts from the goggle, goes across to the back, and it's a C shape down back into the body. 
now have an Among Us character. Cool. So from this point, he's the this object is the largest. Now you want to play something that's smaller, medium sized in the middle section and something small in the background. So I'm actually going to draw a tree. However you want to draw a tree, you can draw a tree. I'm just going to put a little pine tree here, an evergreen tree. Erase any intersecting lines. My tree here is smaller than this character. Now I'm going to place another character, maybe somewhere along my background. Maybe another character he's saying hello to. Start with that oval shape. He's saying hello to his friend. Hello. All right. So as we continue, the next part is we're going to add the stars. And the stars are going to act as a spiral. They're going to feel like they're moving and dancing across the sky. If you want to map them out, draw very soft, very light strokes, just like the diesel spirals. And this will give you a map of how to add your stars with crayon. Next, you can add highlights. The white will act as a highlight. So the goggles are shiny glass. You can add a little bit of white to add a highlight. And I can add it to my trees as snow. You'll see this show up after we start painting. Now it's time to start painting. Grab your favorite watercolors have mine here. I'm having some water off screen with a brush. Okay. Make sure to have a paper towel handy in case you make a mistake. So I'm going to set this off to the side so you can see. I'm going to add some blue sky, maybe some purple in there. Okay. Mix my own colors and I'm going to swipe it across my sky and watch what happens. Already I can see some white stars shining through. There you go. Keep going. Make sure don't use a lot of water if you are not using watercolor paper. Don't be afraid to mix your colors together and see what happens. If you want to create um, your Among Us character with color pencils or crayons or markers, that's totally fine as well. Whatever you have at home will work. I'm going to add a little bit to his goggles. You can tell that already that it didn't want to fill in because I have white crayon on top. That's beautiful. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have fun adding the colors to your painting. Take your time. I add a little bit to the snow just to kind of reflect the skylight. Maybe a little shadow under that guy. Nice thing about snow, it's white and we don't have to paint it. So a little bit here. What color are you going to color your character? 
I think I'm gonna color it in purple. Add some value, try some dark parts. Add a little bit at a time, just like this. Glass usually appears a little blue, so add some blue here. I'm going to add some green for my tree. So. Maybe a little brown, swirl my pot here. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow to the end of my character here, standing on the snow. Maybe a little shadow over here. Voila, you have your own Starry Night inspired painting. I hope you had fun with this painting and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Goodbye, have fun, and thanks for watching.